mission of the IR residency at the Medical College of Wisconsin is to be able to train the most clinically competent, technically advanced interventional radiologists in the country. Here at MCW, we really have a well-rounded program where we are kind of focusing and have experts in so many different aspects of IR. That is something special and that's something that's not, that's certainly not everywhere that you practice. Within IR specifically, we have leaders within oncology, leaders within vascular disease, leaders within musculoskeletal palliative pain interventions, uh, leaders within research, like bench clinical research. Um, we have leaders nationally. So we have this shared leadership, but at the same time, we have this family atmosphere where there's a culture of we're in this together. I know that when I come to work, that if something happens, people are going to cover me and people are going to be backing me and concerned for me and, and looking out for me. So, you know, yes, we work hard, but we're also a family. I came to MCW, it wasn't really a coming home uh, selection for me. I didn't grow up in the area, but MCW provided a unique opportunity uh, to join what I thought is the most cutting edge, forward thinking clinical practice, delivering um, the full spectrum of IR care. Um, they had established leaders in the field uh, and they were 100% uh, singularly focused on really building a clinical IR practice and they had already had a track record of doing so. So it was really exciting to join uh, the practice at MCW you know, despite not being as close to home as we had originally thought we would be and, and case in point now 13 years later this is home for us. I did medical school here in Milwaukee at Medical College of Wisconsin and had the opportunity to come back here for fellowship because I knew the quality of the fellowship and was excited by that chance. So moved back here for a year for fellowship and actually trained under a lot of the people that I would eventually be working with. It was by far my, my best year of training, my favorite year of training. And when I thought about the chance to kind of come back and be on the other side of that and, and teach people in that environment, um, ultimately it was a no brainer. When I was a fourth year medical student doing an away rotation here, my first day coming in, we had, I think, an EVAR, we had Dr. Tutton doing some of his complex and musculoskeletal interventions, and just like a full palette of the full breadth of everything in IR that we could possibly do. And I was renting a room in this house in Tosa right down the street from the hospital, and I just remember getting home calling Mark, my husband, and saying, this is where we're going. It has everything we could possibly want here in terms of procedures of people, and it just felt like a good fit. I'm really proud of the environment we've been able to build at uh, the Medical College of Wisconsin. We have a state-of-the-art platform. We have this uh, space that is, I think, unique to IR in that it is equally spacious uh, as the OR is or as the cath lab is. Um, was given the same allowances and space for IR, in fact, quite larger in some respects. Uh, we have state-of-the-art equipment. We have ample procedural rooms to be able to do the kinds of cutting-edge treatments that we provide. And we also have access to two hybrid ORs uh, in which we work closely with our vascular surgery colleagues and do many joint cases. We have uh, a team that we've been able to establish and build that uh, helps support our practice. When I first started, we were uh, a one to two APP physician extender practice, and now we have 10. Uh, the practice has grown tremendously, and, and they're equally skilled, and they learn about our environment and the different treatments that we can provide, uh, whether they're at our academic hospital or our community hospital. And uh, to see that grow, and then further to see the clinic, uh, IR clinic grow from a small space within radiology when I first started to dedicated clinic space within the cancer center and dedicated space equal to that of our vascular surgery colleagues in the heart and vascular center and we have shared uh, resources there 
to be able to establish ourselves uh, as this clinical IR practice that warrants that type of resource allocation has been really a great thing to see over my time here. And I think one of the distinct uh, uh, opportunities of our training program for our, our trainees is the opportunity for unique mentorship uh, within the field. I think any good IR residency training program is going to provide mentorship. Um, we're no different. But in addition to that, we can provide perspective on where the field of IR is going at a national or even global level. Uh, and that's because our faculty are frequently podium level content experts, speakers at national meetings, invited faculty have run national meetings within interventional radiology, whether they be SIR or SIO. They're on the boards of many of these organizations. They're frequently um, on advisory boards for uh, device innovation. They are leaders within our specialty, not just leaders at our local hospital. And so they really know uh, the cutting edge of IR from a procedural technical point of view, but also where the field itself is headed. Working with the attendings, honestly, is a, is a great privilege. Um, they are so knowledgeable. They literally write the textbook chapters on various procedures, uh, various um, topics within IR. So there's just so much wealth of knowledge that they can impart on us um, that, again, we can carry forward into our careers long term. I think working with our attendings is probably one of the best things um, about MCW. But I think the great thing about uh, our staff is they don't forget to teach us the foundational concepts about IR that are so important for us moving forward. My mentors always have told me that in order to be a good interventional radiologist, you really have to master diagnostic radiology. And I really believe that we get that uh, training over here as well. As I've been in the reading room with a lot of our diagnostic attendings, uh, again, just really impressed by the, the teaching that we have. It's clear that they care about how much I know and, and what I do and don't know, and they want to help me move forward with every session when I'm staffing out, even if that's just making sure I take one thing away from each study that we go through. And so that's just been really, really phenomenal. Everyone I've interacted with, from faculty to different support staff to co-residents to residents in other specialties, Everyone has been always welcoming, always friendly, trying to do what's best for the patients, but also create a welcoming work environment. I really love my co-residents. You know, we are constantly pushing each other to get better. Uh, we love, you know, just spending time with each other. You know, we're going to barbecues and hanging out at each other's houses. Part of being in a program that's six years long is finding a place that you'll enjoy living because. It doesn't really matter how good of a program it is, you're never going to thrive academically if you're miserable where you live. So I think what I really liked about Milwaukee was that everybody's really nice and you know there's the Midwest nice stereotype that everybody says, but it's true and I, I think it reminds me a lot of home and it's you know a really comfortable place to be. I love living in Milwaukee. Um, I grew up in the Midwest, um, in Ohio, and so there's a lot of similarities between Midwestern cities. Milwaukee has a lot of major sports franchises, uh, baseball, basketball. Great food scene. My wife and I are uh, huge proponents of frozen custard and cheese curds. Um, we, we hit those up regularly, um, so we've, we've really liked it. The summers here are just absolutely beautiful weather-wise, so love to spend time out at the lakefront um, during the summer months. I grew up in the Chicago suburbs and didn't uh, visit Milwaukee too much uh, when I was younger, but coming over here, it's, it's really a hidden gem in the Midwest. We have, it's such an accessible city. Um, in Chicago, when you try to go to the lakefront, you know, you have to pay an arm and a leg for parking. And the first time that I went to the lakefront over here was, you know, just the same in terms of beauty, but um, you don't have to pay for parking at all. You know, you just kind of park wherever you want. Uh, there's a lot of great restaurants over here. And uh, for those so inclined, you know, Chicago is just down the street. One 
of the highlights about Milwaukee is uh, some of the state parks uh, surrounding within Wisconsin. There's a park called Devil's Lake, which is about an hour and a half uh, west of here. Um, I've been able to go camping there and hiking, and it's just amazing um, how pretty the scenery is. Um, it's a really easy day trip to make, um, and if you like hiking, being outdoors, Milwaukee is a great place to be. One of my co-residents is married and has a number of kids, and there's a great school system, there's a number of family-friendly activities. So no matter who you are, from a single individual to an individual who's married with kids, there's something that you can find that will meet all your needs here. We strive to be the best. We're gonna work hard, we're gonna work together, we really want to be the best at our, at our craft, at our profession. Our goal is to be able to put out the best product uh, of our trainees so they can go out and succeed in an academic practice, succeed in a standalone IR practice, succeed in a mixed multi-specialty group practice, and know that they're gonna bring the cutting edge clinical skills and technical skills uh, that anything in IR can cover. I really trust Dr. Patel and Dr. Scheidt in leading us to where we need to get. I feel like my um, opinion is always taken into account and they're always asking us how we're doing and how things can get better. So um, I really feel like this is one of those places that has it all. I just think you'd be hard pressed to find a program that has such an amazing breadth of procedures. You know, I've talked to multiple fellows and really attendings who have said that, you know, after you finish at this program, you'll be able to pretty much go anywhere and do anything in IR. That's one of the big things that I've, I've really felt like somehow I ended up at this place that's just gonna prepare me for anything and uh, really lucky to be here.